Welcome back to Indus Technologies and in this tutorial we are going to find the reverse of a digit of a number. Suppose I have some number, suppose I have 153 and I want to reverse it as digits. So when I will reverse it as digits, this is 153, it will become 351. Okay, I have reversed these digits. 3 first, 5 then, then 1. Okay, so any number, suppose I have 7521, it should become 1257. So my number, my digits of a number should get reversed. The digits of a number should get reversed. So what is the logic behind this? How can I achieve this? Suppose I have a number 153. First, we will separate this 3 from 153. How will I separate? I will find the remainder. Remainder of 153 with 10. Remainder means I have to divide this 153 with 10. 10 into 15 is equal to 150. Remainder will be 3. Now we have got this 3. I want to mention one more thing here. One thing I want to mention this about this percentage symbol. What is this percentage symbol? Basically, there are two symbols percentage and divide. Percentage means we have to find the remainder. Divide means we have to find the coefficient. So if I am writing 153% 10. It means that we have to divide 153 with 10, but we don't have to take the coefficient like this 153 divided by 10, 10 into 15, 150, and our remainder will be 3. So, with the help of this percentage, we will not get this 15. No, with the help of this percentage, we will get this 3. It is a remainder, but with the help of this division. If it was 153 divided by 10 so at that time we will get this 15 now I have separated it we got this 3 we will store it somewhere it in some variable 3 here suppose this is 3 now at the time when I am getting the remainder of this same time I am getting this coefficient earlier it was 153 now I am getting only 15 so first two digits I will write 15 again. I will divide it by 10 again. Now I have to separate this 5 from 15. So 10 into 1 is equal to 10. I have separated this 5 because my remainder is 5. This 5, I have to write this 5 here after 3. But 3 is at the 1's place. For that to happen, for to write 35, I have to promote this 3 from 1's place to 10's place. To promote this 3 from 1's place to 10's place, I have to multiply this 3 by 10. So if I will multiply this 3 by 10, it will become 30. Okay. Earlier it was at 1's place. Now it has come to 10's place. It has become 30. Now this 5 is added to this 30. When I will add this, it will become 35. Earlier it was 53. Now it has become 35. So my last two digits, 53 has become 35. So last two digits has been reversed. Similarly, at the same time, when I am getting this 5 as a remainder, at the same time, I am getting this coefficient as 1. I will write this 1 again and divide it with 10. 10 zeros, 0 and the remainder is 1. Now, I need this 1 to, to be written here so that it will become 351. For that to happen, I have to promote 5 is at the 1's place, 3 is at the 10's place. I have to change their places. I have to change their places. So, I will... I will multiply this 35 with 10. So multiply this 35 with 10. It will become 350. And this 1 that I got from here, this 1 is to be added here. It will become 351. Earlier, my number was 153. Now it has become 351. So my digits are reversed. Now I will draw a flowchart of this and I will explain the memory map for this. Let me draw the flowchart faster then I will explain you the memory map start I have finished my flowchart now I will explain you what is happening I will draw a memory map. I am using variable x. I will write x. I am using variable rev. 
R E V. I am using variable R. I will write R. Okay. I am using these three variables in my flowchart. Now, suppose my number is 153. You can have any number. I have 153. Suppose you can have any. Okay. So I will store that into the X and I will read it first. After starting my flowchart, I will read this X. Then I will initialize R E V to zero. Okay. I am initializing R E V to zero. Now R is equal to X percent and X percent. I mean to say here I have to find the remainder and I have to store this remainder into R. So I want to separate this three this time. For that to happen, what I am doing, I am do dividing. I am finding the remainder of this X by dividing it with ten. I will write here 153 because my X is 153. You can see here, and I will divide it by 10. 10 into 15 is equal to 150, and the remainder is 3. Now this 3 will be stored in R. I have stored this in R. Now REV is equal to REV into 10 plus R. REV. What is my REV? Zero. So REV is equal to zero into 10 plus R. 0 into 10 plus what is R? R is 3. So I will write here R instead of R I will write 3. 0 into 10 is equal to 0 plus 3. It will become 3. So it will this 3 will get stored in REV. So this REV will get changed from 0 to 3. Then x is equal to x divided by 10. What is x? x is this 153. I have to divide it with 10. This time I have not to find uh, remainder I have to find the coefficient because it is divided. So I am already dividing it here and my x is 15 now So this x will be updated as 15. This will be get cancelled and here it will come 15. I Have to check whether x has become 0 or not. My x is this time 15. It is not 0 So I have to move towards no part and go to here here r is equal to x percent 10 So again, I have to calculate this r and what is that x percent 10 so what is my x x is 15 i will calculate it here 15 percent 10 10 into 1 is equal to 10 and the remainder is 5 so i have got this 5 i have to store it in r so i will replace this 3 with 5 now reverse rev is equal to rev into 10 plus r what is rev previous rev is 3 i mean to say i have to write here 3 because it is REV into 10. So what is happening here? This 3 is at 1's place. By multiplying this with 10, it will come in at the 10's place. So that I can add this 5 later on, it will become 35. So REV into 10 plus R. What is R? 5. So this whole term will become 35. So this 35 will, store, will get stored in REV. So this 3 will get replaced with 35. Moving forward, x is equal to x divided by 10. What is my x? x is 15. 15 divided by 10, I have already done here. This time, I have not to take this remainder. I have to take this coefficient. So, it will become 1. Again, if x is equal to 0, no, it is 1. So, again, I have to put move towards no part. And here, r is equal to x percent 10. r is equal to x percent 10. My r will become x percent 10. What is my what is my x? x is 1. 1 percent 10. I will do it here. 1, 10. 10, 0, 0. And the remainder is 1. Okay. So, in R, we have to store this 1 because it is remainder here. We have to find. We have to calculate here remainder. Now, REV is equal to REV into 10 plus R. What is my previous REV? Previous REV is 35. 35 into 10. I am changing it to 5 is at 1's place. I have to change 5's place from 1's place to 10's place. And 3 is at the 10's place. I have to place it from 10's to 100's place. So that it will become 350. Later on, I will add this 1 to it. It will become 351 and my numbers will get reversed. So REV into 10 plus this R1. 35 into 10 will become 350 plus 1 is equal to 351. So here REV will get replaced with 351. After that, x is equal to x divided by 10. When I will divide this one, I have already divided it here. So what is my 
answer that time it was 0. Now x will become 0. Later on you will check here condition. If x is equal to 0, this time it is equal to 0. So it will move towards yes part and it will print REV. Whatever is stored in REV, this is 351, it will get printed. Earlier my number was 153. Now the number that is getting printed is 351. And that is my and that is the reverse of this number. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe Indus Technologies. Thank you.